starting off on uh, Broadway, going east. We've done this a few times. Started a block or two before the uh, main San Diego police station in downtown here on Broadway and uh, uh, 14th. So that is a very busy place. Today though, I'm gonna go left up here on 16th and take you through City College, which should be very empty as well. Part of town here is the uh, San Diego Community College District. San Diego City College kind of took over these series of city blocks here and put up, expanded their whole campus. I don't know what's going to happen to it now. No students, no students at all. So, usually parking on the left here, classrooms on the right. You know, more classrooms on the left. This goes all the way up the block. So, that building there in front of us, I don't know if you can see it, that's the Arts and Humanities building. English, political science, business technology, San Diego City College is a community college where you can actually earn a bachelor's degree, I believe, here in at Mesa. So, a lot of good programs. Um, you know, California Community College System, in my opinion, is the most affordable community college system in the country. So, we're gonna go through the parking lot here. There is a footbridge that goes over the five freeway that I'd like to ride across to see Five is doing. That is community college police. Each school district, San Diego Community College District, is a school district, has their own police force. So, I wonder if you can get through here. This is sort of a, not a normal route, but it's definitely a route cyclists take to avoid avoid any traffic, especially going around San Diego High, crossing over the five, all that stuff. So let's see. Looks like they got construction still going on. lot here is for San Diego High School students. That bridge over the freeway is just over there. There is no way to get out of downtown without going uphill. Look at this empty lot. San Diego High School football field on the left. Their mascot is the Cavers. I don't know what the history of the Cavers is. Why they call it the Cavers? Is there a... Is there like a... Caveman, some sort of cave painting discovery here. I don't know. Up a 
ahead here. This is the bridge that goes up over the freeway. Oh, let's see if they locked it. That would be a shit move, wouldn't it? <sighs> because this is a bridge that helps you get across over the freeway if you're walking or driving. Oh, thank God it's not locked. Of course, you know, a lot of people will live here from time to time. Look at this, look at this mess. Looks like there's people camped out here underneath. camped out at the end here over the five freeway near the Naval Hospital. These are all solar panels. Offering some shade to your cars while they gather some power. I've heard rumors that certain people in position for Balboa Park here, which is what we're coming up to, would like to start charging for parking. Here we go. Pop up on Park Avenue. bad over in front of San Diego High and going into the Naval Hospital well I gotta say going into the Naval Hospital is a little bit easier people are a smidge more aware I think San Diego High you've got parents with all their kids and uh, sometimes kids dropping off their brothers and sisters while they go to their first semester Oh, there's some place so naval hospital people tend to have their act together a little bit more. Tend to, not always. on the right is Naval Hospital.
the Air and Space Museum. Coming up here into this fence. That is the end of the Naval Hospital. San Diego Zoo on your left, massive parking lot. The other day when I came by, there were people uh, exercising in it, running, rollerblading. You know? Like they're doing some maintenance over at the dog park across Florida Street on the other side, close to the velodrome by the tennis courts over at Morley Field. Morley Field is a part of Balboa Park. Normally, this uh, grass lawn here on your right is filled with uh, homeless people sleeping in tents. Today looks like they're being uh, picked up. I know the mayor just uh, held a press conference when he and County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher announced they were uh, they uh, completed putting together all the cots at the convention center for homeless people to. Uh, quarantine in. situation. I know my wife is uh, stayed home yesterday so she can go grocery shopping. 
course, that's an adventure in itself now. She was at the Costco. Some woman picked up two um, cartons, two things of uh, Costco toilet paper, and you're only allowed one. So the uh, like a crowd of people were descending on her, yelling at her. My wife got away. She didn't want to hang around with that. That's Definitely don't want that kind of thing going ugly over toilet paper. I mean, come on, guys. Cashiers aren't going to let people buy two. So. Of course, what do you do with people who game the system, right? Get two people going in. Each grab a carton. Two people who live in the same house. Then what? They just go to the cash register separately. They've each got one. Come on. At the same time, let's say they've got a family of four. So it's not just two of them, it's actually four of them. And then you've got uh, some dude who lives alone. Who's been going to Costco every day buy, all, buy his one thing of toilet paper. He has more than enough, but he just keeps buying more because he's freaking out. He won't have enough. So, I'm sure people are gaming that system. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there following the rules trying to be decent. in uh, Bakersfield and he says the big problem they're having there is can't get people to pick the food in the fields so that's not going to hit home for another I don't know two months um, there's some foods I suppose get picked by machine but Line's already out of sprouts. Looks like about 15 people in line at sprouts. They open at 7 now. So anyhow, and then also there's a ton of uh, uh, meat processing plants. So if you eat meat, that's going to get a lot more expensive soon. Because they're not going to be slaughtering chickens, or cows, or pigs nearly at the same rate they used to. The factories just aren't up and running. You know what? I need to hit the button here. Oh, you know what? I'm going, I'm going to go, I'm going to go right. I know it's no turn on red, but come on, guys. Guys, I was in the driveway. feeling these hole in the walls are going to come back and become the hole in the walls they were before. Especially because nobody's going to have any money. Red Fox room there. All right. They used to have an outstanding jazz band.
start to get really rough these next couple months one of my neighbors ah, hang on gotta get up the hill there we go and to north park Whew. one of my neighbors was only able to make a partial rent payment he normally has a uh, and his wife, Forrest, they normally have a pretty thriving business where they can save a little bit of money, pay their rent. He says in the last month, they've done a total of $50 in business. Five zero normally the cash flow is between three and five grand a month i think i'm guessing he didn't tell me but i'm guessing based on where he lives other friends i know who well, there's bucks and salon we just did a story about them how oh, they had to shut down Another friend who uh, she runs, uh, owns, got two parlors, piercing places. And, uh, they have completely shuttered. She wouldn't have closed if the city didn't tell her to. But the city told her to close, so she closed. And now she's still on the hook for the rent. At the new place she just moved into. Plus all the debt she incurred on that. Whew. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. get through this month or maybe next but maybe recovery on this is going to be a lot bigger you know the city of san diego says they do have some relief but you know the amount of businesses that have had to shutter and the city's got six million in relief that's that's not a lot for all the businesses here in the city of san diego applying for unemployment people the city went and created that relief that six million dollar fund up over the 15 on the or the 805 already on El Cajon pretty light the, the day they opened up applications for that six million dollar fund there was so much traffic, the website crashed. Now what that tells me is people who designed the website, the management who decided how much bandwidth to allocate to that, drastically underestimated the need. The website would not have crashed had they known the level of need. They would have been able to allocate 
the bandwidth. So it makes me wonder how in touch or out of touch people are. <clears throat> particularly leadership, they're in touch. I think they would have, now, six million. <coughs> Excuse me, choking on some water. <coughs> Down the wrong pipe. They had to know from the get-go. Six million <coughs> would not be enough. Right from the get-go. Not a businesses that are shuttered. Six million? Uh, I don't know if that's enough. Come on. Maybe. You know, some of these restaurants downtown, through the gas lamp. They've got to have operating budgets close to a million dollars a month. And they're still considered a small business. Who do you give it to, right? You've got a restaurant that employs 30 people. <clears throat> but they've got an operating budget of Let's say 500,000 a month, which some of these locations just rent alone every month is gonna run you 20 grand, cheaply 20 grand, more like 30 or 40, some of these locations. And then you've got all the other things going on, as far as business is concerned, so you need that $500,000 a month coming through. Six million is a drop in the bucket for this city, the city's economy. The economy of San Diego is in the billions. Not in the billions. You know? Construction is still going on. KPBS has a new uh, general assignment reporter, John Carroll. He's a sweet guy. He'll be good at it, knows what he's doing. Quick writer, good on camera. Also, uh, Max Erlen Nadler is gonna move from covering a border in Tijuana to cover the Speak City Heights beat. That'll be great. Trick will be great. City Heights is such an interesting, diverse population. And that's what we've entered now, City Heights. store is still open. I think that's called priorities. Hey Nico.
commercial TV stations have laid off a bunch of people, particularly in their sales department, because no one is buying ads. YMCA on the left. Always go around Hoover High, it just gets too sketchy up here. No point in taking unnecessary risks today. That little parking lot there is sort of a hub for little teeny small businesses. They set up their carts and sell things like coffee and jewelry and stuff people make when you're trying to get a business off the ground. They are closed too. Everybody's closed. Except for the news. The news is not closed. suddenly get nicer. Fourth onto Monroe here, continuing to go east <clears throat> over here behind Hoover High. Cable guy's still out working. Man, they're going into people's homes sometimes. Oof. I would not want to go into people's homes. And there's a couch in the middle of the street. Above on your left here. 
every now and then I see the monks out sweeping things, taking trash out. They have been not very active at all. <clears throat> well, look at that. Couches, mattresses, all kinds of things just dumped in the street there. That's nice. That says high class. That tells me they should raise the rent. That kind of gentrification. Right? <laughs> Cars, let's hit it. Ah, crossing Euclid here, back on Monroe. Start out near 10th Street, end up passing 55th. So it's a 10 mile ride, almost exactly. A little bit of a false flat here, so. And it goes up and then down the other side. San Diego's relatively hilly-ish. But you know, get yourself some gears and keep riding. You'll, uh, you'll get fit enough to ride it. actually been for sale for quite a long time. <clears throat> I wonder what this is going to do to the real estate market. I believe it is artificially inflated when you have a real estate market so out of touch with the average, the uh, annual median income of an area that tells me there is something wrong something really wrong go through an economic problem like we've got now i am sure shit will hit the fan i think they're still putting on a new roof although it kind of half of it's a flat roof you never want a completely flat roof you know San Diego, but yeah, it does rain. <laughs> uh, down here to Colwood, up ahead, take a right on Colwood, and then a quick left onto um, 54th. Down 54th to Baja. Turn right on Baja going. East, east on Baja to um, Campanile. All right, yeah. Let's go. Now, up here, you have to hit the button because if you sit in the left turn spot, the light will never change. It only changes for cars. I've become very adept at getting my elbow into these tiny little spaces. Oh, 
However, I'm also wearing gloves, so. Whew, here we go. <laughs> could hear that woman yelling into the phone I'm not yelling my voice is loud <laughs> I'm not yelling my voice is loud ah, let's see if we can get some speed going here how far we can coast up the hill I'm not yelling, my voice is loud. All right. Whew. Fourth, here's Baja. Turn right. Whew. It is 7:38. It's a pretty decent time. <sighs> Take me another five, ten minutes to get up to campus, which is really not that far away from here. Down in the canyons, the college area. Just out of curiosity, how many libertarians out there are asking for government help right now? Just wondering. Asking for a friend. Look 
this nice new road, public road. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder how many libertarians, you know, are asking for public assistance for healthcare right now. I'd love to do that survey in the uh, emergency rooms. How many people opposed to Obamacare are now in a hospital? Making use of some sort of publicly funded healthcare system. Love to know that. This is like a Somebody was calling me. Don't know who. I'm almost at work. I'll check that message when I get to work. A little difficult to answer the phone while I'm riding uphill. front of KPBS. That was a decent ride, made some decent time. 45 minutes, not too bad. Let me get my phone thing out here. Who is this? Hey, Tina, Nico. <sighs> All right, guys. Hopefully I'll see you. Ooh, I'm holding it upside down. Hopefully I will. Can you see this? Can you see that? Okay, I gotta turn it off. All right guys, maybe this afternoon on the way home. <laughs>